So this is my 95 Civic with a D16Z6 VTEC. <coughs> Excuse me, engine. A while back I bypassed the heater core because it took a shit on me. See the valve down there? Started leaking on my floorboard. And here's the good old flywheel. I already took it off. It's just a 14 millimeter bolt right there. And right there. This was a, a Rock Auto. I like the sound of this one. It has like the OG Civic sound, if you know what I mean. See how it has, I don't know, is this a solenoid? I don't know, solenoid in the pinion right here. Where it has a big solenoid. This one has a small solenoid and a big pinion. So it makes, I think this is off of uh, automatic, if I'm not mistaken. But it doesn't make that signature civic sound that high pitch that i like and i got this from the junkyard if you know you know junkyard parts are better than shitty asshole rallies and autozone and napa and all that because all that shit's china now these are the original specs and parts off of oem i believe this was a it was a newer starter motor i don't know cut maybe 2000 or um 90 that was a long time ago, but anyways, I didn't like it, so I bought a uh, Rock Auto one that has a two year warranty. I believe I could be wrong on this too. I believe the two year warranty is up on November or October, so just in time. So I'm just gonna put this baby on until I get this baby back. And this one is BBB Industries. Oh, yeah, here's the OEM one. You just maneuver that bad boy up in there, man. Let's see if I could. I'll, I'll do the zoom out so I know you got it. I'm sorry. You got a shitty camera. Shitty phone camera. Hopefully you guys could see this. If not, it's my bad. Right, squeezer in there. Move the radar hose and the wires up out the way. Put her in here like so. Okay. What is it? The small. I see the smaller one. The smaller length, 14 millimeter, goes up top. I think I'm gonna have to. Um, it's usually good to hand feed it, but that's kind of an awkward position. So I'm get my trusty extension. Feed it in the tip. Make sure you can see the threads. Pull back the starter a little bit so you can see the threads going in, so you don't cross thread or strip it. Okay. Oh. And then you just thread that bad boy in there like that. Okay. Just snug. Can you get this longer? Bad boy. I should be using a, a real hex 14 because these uh, 20,000 points kind of can sh strip the head a little bit. This one you just want to hand feed. Fill the hole, get the tip in there. She slides in there. Always hand thread it. Always hand thread it first with an ex extension or a socket. Or you want to go straight to the ratchet, man. That's how you strip things. Okay, she's going in there. see that I don't have a good position I don't think oh yeah you 
can see 14 millimeter socket. Snug her up. It doesn't have to be crazy tight. Just bam. Right there. Don't use all this shape, man. You don't gotta be he man. Just nice and snug at that touch. I wanna strip it. Bam. Okay, there you go. Also, always disconnect your battery on the 92 to 95 Civic because um, it's a starter. If you're working with something electrical, so you always want to disconnect it, man. I even disconnect it when I'm working on my, um, on my thermostat because I had to learn that the hard way. I, um, my thermostat one time it fell on top of my starter ground it out and it blew my fuel relay underneath my dash that was stupid but hey nobody's perfect man hey the other one the little starter I showed you guys a 12 millimeter socket this one is That's a weird size, 13. So, the power on this particular one is a 13, which I believe this is off for automatic, but it works on manual. I'm not sure if the manual will work on automatic, but I believe so, because I think it's smaller. But don't hold me to it. So, in the little ignition one you wanted to put on last. I'm going to put on this bad boy first. It's bigger. This one has a little slot for that. Put that 13 back on her. Oh, that's making it rip a little bit right there. Jiggy. Okay. Slide, slide. Okay. All the way. Car's really low, so this is hurting my damn back. Slam to the ground. Oh, slam as low as my 50 series tires and my adjustable cameras all the way low. But I could go lower with some 45 series I've had on before, but I was scraping everywhere. So we got one with 50. There we go. Slide that little thing on. Slide the boot over, make sure it's all the way connected. She's in there. Yeah, that's it, man. So let's put the battery back on. Everything's tightened up. Power. Ignition. Two 14 millimeters. Put that negative back on. Yeah, that was... 
them more nice and tight. Okay. Penis over there. There's the bolt on that thing. Probably just keep that just because it's gonna have extra bolts. Got my DC headers, G plus aluminum radiator. Before I put the intake back on, I'm gonna make sure this bad boy fires up. You know how we do it, man. You gotta make sure. Oh, check your work. You know how it has just a regular startup sound? Does it have that high pitch? Ying ying ying. The high pitch ying ying ying. You know what I'm talking about? But she starts up, so it's definitely my starter. But I hope that helps you guys. Alright, I'm out. Alright then, right then, Lee. Honda boys, Honda gang, 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 gang.